and we're going to be getting under the skin of the brand new BMW 5 Series. Now, this is the third episode, so if you missed the first two, don't worry because they are still available to watch on the BMW UK Facebook page. We did a quick overview of the car and also had a real in-depth discussion about the design. But today is all about innovation and technology. And I'm very excited to say that behind me, you can see we've got the brand new 540i M Sport. And we've also got the FE. And most importantly, we have got Dan, our very own BMW genius. Um, now, Dan, for, for those who haven't watched one of these before, hmm. just quickly explain to us what is a BMW genius? Uh, a genius is somebody you'll find in a BMW centre anywhere uh, and they are not salespeople so uh, there's no pressure in talking to one of these people uh, they're very knowledgeable uh, so they can help you out with any query you may have uh, regarding BMW they can advise which BMW may best suit you uh, or if you're struggling with any piece of technology you're unfamiliar with then again they're there to help you out um, and you're going to be here to help me out today, exactly. I hope, <laughs> as well, because, of course, we are doing a Facebook Live. Uh, feel free to ask us questions if you've got some question that you've been dying to know the answer for, but you just don't know it. Well, Dan is the man to answer it. Before the end of this session, we will be answering your questions. Um, now, I'm very excited because we are standing next to a car that is considered the most innovative car in its class and once you get to know it see how much tech and innovation mm. really is there you understand why it makes that claim and it has won not one but two what car awards already this year it has Tell yeah. me about that fantastic uh, achievement fantastic start the car hasn't even launched in the uk yet uh, and we've uh, been awarded two really prestigious awards so we've won what cars luxury car of the year and the five series has also won the overall car of the year for 2017 so what better start could you have? It's uh, well deserved. Wow. Really what well a fantastic done. start to the year for mm. this car. And it was an uh, interesting start for, for me for this year. I went to CES, the Consumer Electronics Show out in Vegas. It's where everyone talks about the latest trends and innovations in mm. the car industry. And there was one word on everyone's lips, and that was autonomous. Everyone's talking about it. Just tell me about the semi-autonomous functionality of the new 5 Series. Yeah, the 5 Series, if you opt for Driving Assistant Plus, that's where the semi-autonomous features uh, are brought in. So they're great for just relieving stress on a long motorway journey or heavy traffic situations. Well, I do love my cruise control because it, it really does. You know, mm. if you're doing a long journey, yeah, I'm driving all over the country, uh, doing long distances and having that cruise control does take the stress away. Mm. Um, but this is taking that to a whole new level. T tell us more. That's right. Yeah, you can get the five series with active cruise control with stop and go functionality. Um, so, as you say, you set, uh, you set your uh, speed like you would with a normal cruise control, uh, but the car in front is monitored, um, and if that car slows, you slow. If it speeds up, you'll speed up, so you, again, to your desired speed. The great thing about that in a traffic jam is if that car stops, you'll be brought to a safe stop, and when it proceeds, you'll follow. Oh, wonderful. Um, so, uh, yeah, again, really takes the stress out of so it. So it really does. I mean, mm. yeah, the stop start in a traffic jam really is a nightmare. Yeah. Um, but as well as, I suppose, making sure that you're always a safe distance between the car you're in and, and the car in front, mm. what other safety features does it have? Uh, that package brings in uh, lane keeping assistant uh, and active side collision protection as well. Uh, so the car will keep itself uh, in the lane. Um, so again, it's, just, uh, it's an assistant system that just for any momentary lapse in concentration helps out. And it's monitoring uh, the area around itself as well. So if you are getting close to other cars, again, it will just take slight evades of action to move you away. Uh, so again, that peace of mind. It will remind you. Mm. And what about taking your hands off the steering wheel? Is it true? It's, Can you do it? it it's true. Um, yeah, uh, when you uh, use active cruise control and uh, uh, the uh, lane keeping assistance from that package, when they're working together, that's where the semi-autonomous element comes in. So the car will uh, drive itself on the motorway where you can take your hands off the wheel up to 30 seconds so you still need to be in control Gosh. of the car but wow. it's for those momentary lapse of concentration where um, you just need that extra security that the car can take it's care of. It's amazing, amazing to see that that technology is now already on mm. our roads and will be available to buy. Now speaking of all this wonderful technology, when can we actually take this 5 Series for a test drive? February 11th. It'll be in the uh, Retailers, so that's when you can start so driving. less than two weeks away. Really soon, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, cannot wait. I hope I can get myself on the list. Um, wow, look at this. Now, the first thing you notice when you get inside the car is 
bigger screen than ever before, isn't it? That's right. Is it touch screen? It is, <gasps> yeah. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic system. It's the latest generation iDrives, ID6. Um, and as you found... There we go, really there lovely. it is. That's yeah. what I was waiting for because this is quite new, isn't it? Having this um, digital cockpit looks absolutely mm. stunning. It is, yeah. Uh, again, a standard equipment on the 5 Series uh, and that interacts with uh, your driving modes and any other infotainment requests. So, you know, as you cycle through, say we've got sport mode, you've got... Uh, oh, instantly it, turns to red. Exactly, <laughs> it, it just foregrounds the important information. Um, and again, if you Do you instantly turn into a racing driver? Some do, say. do you have the driving ability of a racing driver? Do you? Well, when it turns to red, of course. <laughs> I instantly become Michael Schumacher. <laughs> um, now, tell me about the other ways that you can interact with the car. Uh, so there's four ways actually you can you can interact with it now. So you found the touchscreen, yes. and we've got the traditional iDrive remote uh, down here. But the, this five series has the latest generation of voice control. Okay. So with a button on the wheel, you can talk to the car quite freely. Uh, you don't need to follow regimented or set commands. Um, you can do pretty much anything you would normally do with a system by hand. So again, a great safety feature to not have uh, your eyes diverted from the road. So what? So I would. So I could go a bit more advanced and just you know take me home. What could I say? Yeah, you could. You could just shout the name of your favourite restaurant, uh, really? and it will find the nearest one uh, and Ooh. begin guidance if you wanted. Okay, or I'm looking forward to table. testing that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the fourth element of it, which is my favourite, is gesture control. Now. If we turn the screen off, actually, it's probably better if you do it there. Um, this sensor here. Hang on a minute, what just happened then? <laughs> exactly. Like you this, just pointed and it switched off. Yeah, this sensor here for the driver monitors this area. So if you use that gesture, no. turn the screen back on. Really good, isn't it? Wow. There's another gesture where you can turn up the volume of your media or down okay. uh, just with swirling uh, of your wrist and one, one finger. All right, well, here goes. There we go. I can hear. Oh, we've got some beautiful orchestral music playing. And Perfect. down again. Yeah. That's incredible. So you yeah. can use that while you're driving. Exactly, Brilliant. yeah. Really, really good. Um, now, there's one thing that I always do on a long car journey is uh, I tend to forget my phone charging cable, which yeah, is very so frustrating. <laughs> yeah. As today, but I've you've got, got a solution phone. for that. I have, because I've Tell done me. the same of my phone. I forgot the cable. <laughs> um, as always, thankfully in the 5 Series, there's a wireless charging tray. So just pop your phone in there. Uh, you don't need any wires and that will uh, charge. And we all hate wires anyway. They always get in yeah, the way. They look messy. messy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so that just fits away quite nicely in there. Brilliant. Now, I've also spied... That is the display ah, key. It is. Let me set this phone out. And um, yeah, the display key. We talked a little bit about that before, didn't we? So it's got the usual functions on here of lock, unlock, and boot release. But mm. it's uh, got a display here that's not too dissimilar from a smartphone display, actually. And this, you can see if the car's uh, locked or unlocked, so if the windows are open, wow. uh, service requirements, if you left any lights on, um, range. Uh, so you really... no longer do you have to have a sleepless night lying in bed thinking, have I locked the car? But <laughs> exactly. it's too cold to go outside and yeah. check. <laughs> or worse still, if you've flown to another country or, or whatever. Think, it still will no. work if you're in another country. It'll remember what condition the car was left in, so you can see uh, exactly what's going very on. very impressive. So, yeah, really That's going to be extremely useful, of course, isn't it? Of course, like a smartphone though, you do need to charge the key. Right. Uh, the battery life's good, but... Um, but you can charge it in the car. Will, yeah. When you're driving all the time. So you just pop it in the pad there and uh, that'll charge and forget about it for now. Now, tell me a little bit about the remote control parking because, mm. um, you know, some people that might live in cities or just even have the luxury of a, of a garage, but if it's a tight garage and you don't want to kind of knock your door and dent your door on yeah. the way out, uh, it has this incredible parking It is, it's rem remote parking, yeah. So if you option it on the car, you get a little button just here. Um, which if you hold that, you could drag the car in and out of a parking space. So as you say, a tight garage, you don't need to be in the car. You can stand outside of it so you don't bang your doors against the walls getting in or out. Um, so, I mean, if you have a new 5 Series, you wouldn't want the doors to be dented. You definitely would not. So, really I'm just dreaming feature. of the day when I have a garage. I don't care what size it is. <laughs> but, you know, one day, one, one day. day. <laughs>
<laughs> um, fantastic. Now, the other thing about this is the heads up display, because mm. I believe that's bigger than ever before as well. It is, yeah, head up display is 75% larger than the uh, wow. previous generation. Uh, it's that bit crisper. And because we've got more uh, features and more information in the car, it can deal with all of that. So you, know, you can use your radio, your uh, media, your music streaming services, phone book, navigation. Even when you're assessing your cruise control and, uh, and distances, it's all done. Right up in on front there. of me. So, so I, I mean, you literally don't have to take your eyes off the road. Yeah, exactly that. So, That's again, brilliant. a great safety feature as well. Gosh, I'm feeling very safe in this car. Yeah, Even is, though my it? driving might be a bit reckless. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've had some questions. Okay. Um, so let's, I'm going to quiz you outside. Thank you to everyone who has been sending in their questions during our Facebook Live. There have been loads, uh, but we've managed to pick a couple of them. And uh, this is when we're going to test out whether uh, you really are a genius. Uh, the first question is from Tessa Roper. Tessa Roper, my apologies. Uh, when is the series... Ah, when is the Five Series touring being ah, released? Okay. Ah, good question. This um, is the question I want to know as well. Yeah, we've uh, we've not announced a date as yet, but it is on the way, and it's you not, know it's not I know you know I know, but it's not all that far Come off. Come on, no, not yet. Not Give yet. us a clue. Patience, patience. Not but that far off. Just keep an eye on our channels uh, over this next short. Short, Short period, period and, uh, of time. Yeah, we'll okay, right, Dan, I think you know more than you're giving away, but, well, there we go. It's obviously coming soon, very soon. Uh, thank you very much to Thomas Goodwin. Uh, he wants to know, is Apple CarPlay available either wired or wirelessly? Yeah, Apple CarPlay is available wirelessly in the 5 Series. Uh, just make sure you order that option from the factory. Um, and within that, you could uh, still use a split-screen functionality, so you can have CarPlay uh, on... Uh, one half of the screen and then on the uh, smaller side you can have your navigation or uh, other form of directions or onboard computer so you don't have upper carplay take over all of the bmw system so you can have a bit of both sides. brilliant so they work easy. together yeah, seamlessly really well that's good news for you thomas uh, someone else has asked is there going to be an i performance version of the car yes. i want to know that too yes there is yeah in uh, in march there'll be a 530e i performance uh that'll be a really exciting car that'll be Efficient. Yeah, really efficient. And fast. And fast, yeah. It's a truly to petrol, <laughs> mated with an electric motor. So you know, fuel consumption would be minimal. CO2 would be really low, so great for a corporate buyer because the benefit oh, in course. kind of rate will be really small compared to a, a normal combustion engine car. And yeah, as you say, electric power is, is it's really exciting. It's what we love, isn't, isn't it? it? So, yeah. It's a combination of the, the two powertrains. Um, now, finally, can you use Park Assist to parallel park? even if there isn't a marked parking space? Very good question. Okay, yeah, um, short answer to that is yes, you can. Uh, when you're in the car and using the park assist function, um, it's not looking for markings on the floor, so if you find a bay that isn't marked, it's not an issue. It's using the obstacles around uh, to designate the space. So as long as you find a space that's big enough for the car, um, yeah, for sure the car will park itself into it. Is there anything that this car can't do? That's not a lot, is there? <laughs> it really is quite amazing. Um, well, that brings us to the end of this uh, episode. Dan, thank you thank so you. much. As brilliant as always. Um, now, if you are watching at home and, you, and you've got a question for a BMW genius, how do you book in for a one-to-one -one session? Uh, you should look at our website. Uh, very soon there'll be a banner on the homepage. You'll see it's quite obvious. Um, if you click onto that, um, you will find uh, the uh, area to book a session one-to-one okay. -one with me or one of my colleagues uh, and with that we can discuss and view the car we can have a walk around uh, and work out you know what five series might be best for you and what what you should have on it uh, and Excellent. all the combinations to your taste and all in the comfort of your sofa at home exactly if, <laughs> yeah if you're feeling if, uh, if you so wish <laughs> yeah and if you're feeling that way you could actually carry on to retail online and uh, order the car if you uh, gosh at just a kick of a button exactly that yeah. sounds dangerous <laughs> that sounds like a very it's expensive shopping trip well Dan, thank you again thank you. thank you all for watching now we will of course be bringing you our fourth and final episode in a couple of weeks uh, well we'll be talking about the driving dynamics of the 5 series bmw it's really the reason why we all drive bmws and love them so much um but it will be an episode with a little bit of a twist I can't tell you much more at the moment, so make sure you don't miss it. Tune in and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks very much. That should be a really good episode.